In this video, I will derive the translational entropy of an ideal gas given its partition function. When the particles are distinguishable, we have a simple equation for entropy. Entropy equals n times r times ln q plus d ln q over d ln t. And this equation can be used for gases, liquids, and solids. When the particles are indistinguishable, the number of microstates should be divided by n factorial. This is because every single microstate for n indistinguishable particles corresponds to n factorial identical permutations of these n particles. And therefore, we need to subtract Kb times ln n factorial here to get the entropy for indistinguishable particles. And then we use Stirling's approximation, uh, which is ln x factorial equals x times ln x minus x. And then we simplify this equation. We take out the common factor. We get this expression for the entropy of indistinguishable particles. Again, this equation can be used for gases, liquids, and solids. Now let's look at an ideal gas. The translational partition function of an ideal gas is the following. We assumed that there's no uh, attraction or repulsion between any particles. And, and then we use the particle in the box model to get the translational energy levels, and then we compute the uh, one-dimensional translational partition function, and then we get a three-dimensional translational partition function. So over here, this is expression, and beta equals 1 over kBt. So the three-dimensional translational partition function is 2 pi m kBt over h squared, and then to the power of 3 halves times the volume of the box. And then we plug in the expression of the partition function in here. We get this uh, a fairly complicated expression, uh, and uh, we keep this logarithm term here, except that we combine ln v and minus ln n together, so we have plus ln v over n. Now, how about this term? This term is very simple. This term is only just, it's, uh, it's simply 3 halves. Why? Because the logarithm of this very complex expression is simply 3 halves ln t plus something that's independent of temperature. And therefore, we have just uh, 3 halves here. Plus 1, we have 5 halves. This is the famous Secker Tetchold equation of translational entropy. And using this equation, we can derive the entropy change of a monatomic ideal gas when its temperature and volume change. So basically, we use this equation for the initial state and the final state of this ideal gas, and then we take the difference. What's the difference? We need to look at uh, you know what variable has changed. T changes from initial to final. V changes from initial to final. So we just need to focus on this T and this V. Therefore, the change is simply nR times 3 halves ln T final over T no initial plus the natural logarithm of V final over V initial. And if you have taken thermodynamics, you know that entropy change of an ideal gas uh, can be proven to be uh, simply just uh, Cv times ln Tf over Ti plus nr Vf over Vi. For a monatomic ideal gas, the molar, uh, this heat capacity uh, under constant volume condition is simply 3 halves nr. And therefore, we get the same expression for the change of the entropy of a monatomic gas uh, using thermodynamics.